So today we're here to talk about the proof box and give you some tips and tricks on how to clean it, um, use it, and why it's important. And I'm Camille. I'm Matt. And I'm James. So the proof box here that we have today is a Doyon proof box and is very important in the process of using of making bread and having dough rise. And when you place bread into the proof box, it will rise and the yeast will ferment the sugars. It is important that the proof box has a moist environment, so there's a tray inside there that we will later explain that creates a moist environment for the bread to be very happy and rise up to two or four or times the size that normally is. So when you're placing bread inside the proof box, it's important that you have a tray and then you have parchment paper on top of the tray along with either a bowl or you can set the dough on the tray, but probably not that that wouldn't end well. So now you will open the proof box and place your dough and tray onto one of the sliding racks here. Close the proof box, have it on the proper settings that we will explain later, and wait for your dough to rise. You can also use the proof box to keep food warm, but make sure not to include water in the tray inside when just using the proof box to keep food warm. Hello, when you want to start the dough proof box, the first thing you will have to do would be to open the door. In order to do that, there's going to be a knob on the left side. In order to open it, you would have to pull it. Once you're done pulling it, there's going to be a metal container on the last floor where water is usually placed. And the purpose for putting the water within this area would be so that the metal coils under would heat up and the water would be turning into steam, which is used to bring forth a moist environment when no proofing within the sub design. And once you're done filling the water within the metal containers, there's going to be two dials on the bottom. The left side would be the humidity dial. The right side would be the temperature dial. And depending on the scenario of when you're using your dough proof box, it can be adjusted. But in the case for proofing the box, you want to put the humidity valve to the max, and you want to put the temperature at around 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And there's going to be a power button in the center, and if you want to turn it on, you would click on it to turn it on. And in the case for heating up the food rather than producing a moist environment, you would want to put the humidity bulb to zero because you don't want the food to be soggy, you want it to be just warm. And you would put the temperature to high because that's the temperature that you want it to keep it at if you want to keep the food warm. And always make sure to put to extract the water from the metal bands because if you don't, then it's still going to produce a human environment, which is not desirable when you're just only wanting to heat up the food. I'll show you how to clean the proof box. And first, you want to start off with the handle, and all you need for the handle is just a towel, and you just want to just wipe it daily. And then inside, as you can see, currently it is pretty dirty right now. I don't think anyone's cleaned it in a while. But the floor of the proof box should also be cleaned daily, and all you need is a towel for that too. So all I have to do is just wipe the floor like this. And then also this glass window, you want to clean that daily too, just wipe it with a towel. But for the walls inside the proof box, you're going to want to use sanitizer, and you're going to want to sanitize that weekly. The outside of the proof box should be cleaned daily too, and all you need is just sanitizer and we'll just spray the outside and then just wipe it down with a towel when you want to clean basically everything including the knobs you don't want to forget that too so the inside of the proof box should be deep cleaned once a week and that means you want to wash it rinse it and then sanitize it hope you enjoyed our tutorial on the proof box today thank you